is going on? Oh, everybody, it's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Wifey with me today? Hey, y'all. Hey. Um, today, we are in North Point Mall. I haven't been in this mall in a while. We was in the area because it's a restaurant we want to go to. But I said, since we're going we gonna to go to the movies, too, to see uh, Gran Turismo, some race car action. Meow, got my Dale Earnhardt shirt on. That wasn't even on purpose, but it makes sense. You feel me? Um... Trying to see if they got some sneaker stores in here. It's called North Point Mall. I, I said I was here a long time ago, but now that I'm inside, I don't even remember ever coming to this mall though. So we're gonna check out and see if they got a couple of things, man. Some vlog action, sneakers, maybe. Maybe. This place actually might have like a little resale sneaker shop in here too. So we'll see what they got on. Finna show y'all on feet real quick and get into this mall vlog. Do it. On feet. Kiki is looking at the um, she's looking at the directory. So on feet, I got the Air Jordan 4 Travis Thangs, man. Travis Thangs on feet. Sne sneakers at win, man. Every time I wear these, I feel special because of that. That also elusive sneakers at win. And then we try to see what shoe stores they got here on the directory. All they got is Champs, Finish Line, and Journeys. This might be a short vlog that I might have to add something to later on. We're going to see. So you can go to these obscure, lesser known malls. You will get a sneaker shop. Uh, this one is called the Show Room showroom at North Point Mall and like, as you can see they got sneakers in there so let's go ahead and see anything interesting you know the resale price is probably gonna be ridiculous but we'll see so this is what it looked like in here got some the dunk family over there I like the I like the specs though I like how it's set up got just some couches over here I like the rug action the flooring got you some height beast uh Skateboards up there. Showroom, huh? This rug actually says wet grass on it, shout it. That's different. Actually kind of dope though, I like that. Have the Yeezy sl slide and the Yeezy uh, foam runner selection. Uh, look here, so we got, uh, got the uh, wave runner section. Well, there's the wave runners right there. Got the reds. It's like a really big size, bro. 435, 48 size, 15 men, yeah. I know I wasn't tripping. The blues, I wasn't mad at those. Um, never seen these before, too. These is the like the weird looking joints. Like, look like you'll put them on water and they'll float or something like that. Um, like the little color though, the little two-tone color scheme. Fade out action going on. <sighs> More Yeezys, 350s, V1 and V2 over there. Action going on, vintage, vintage style tees over here. These ain't bad. Tour shirts, tour shirts. Um, got some, got what I got on feet right here. Yeah, yeah. Travis Scott things. Um, I don't know what my tag is like this. I'm gonna have to look back in the box to see if I can find my tag like that. Would y'all rock the tag? I, don't know. I might rock that tag because that tag is kind of understated a little bit. It ain't doing too much, you feel me? Um, got these as well, of course. I just showed these on a recent video. OG guys also got these. I got a lot of Travis Scott's, man. My Travis Scott um, collection is not too bad. I don't have either of these, but it seemed like the uh, resale is going down on them. Another shoe I got. I like pointing out what I got. <laughs> um, I'm in the ears. Yeah, these went down. Resale price and these went down tremendously too. Especially, I like that yellow one. I used, they used to be my least favorite. Now it's my most favorite and the resale ain't that bad. So I might have to go after those. Here you talking about. Um, the off-white Air Force Ones. And these two colorways right here. This is the a crystalled out um, dunk. With the crystals from Swartsky. I always say that wrong. Swartsky. I don't know how to say it. I just don't know how to say it. I got a couple of pairs of the uh, SB Air Jordan 4s right here. Shot to Meat Mill. <laughs> Every time I see those, I think of Meat Mill. Those going to be called the Meat Mill Get Over on Resale, guys, from now on. You feel me? They got a gigantic TV. What size is this TV, bro? This is a huge TV. It's an 80 some inch TV, so. Keep that in mind for uh, football season this year. I might have to upgrade. I don't know if Kiki gonna like it, but I feel like I can get by her. Oh, they got a bunch of, um, Kiki forgot she had lost and found Air Jordan 1s. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I want some of You were gonna say you want some? Yeah. And I bought you some already. 
No, I did a trade in for my uh, Zion. Yeah, I my it. Zion one lows. That's my it's Zion's going that. crazy in resale now, and I, I I gave them up for the keys. See how see how good of a husband I am, Shorty. That's what yeah. make you a good husband. Huh? That's what make you a good husband. It's a part of it. It's just a small piece though. Uh, I know it's more. I know it takes more. Uh, <laughs> so let me see how much there is in my socket. It look like a twelve, right? That's eleven and a half, and they want five seventy five. So resale is increasing in the lost and founds action. You feel me? Um, other than that. Plethoras upon plethoras of dunk lows. Oh, I like this colorway right here. I like this colorway. I like little suede. I remember these coming out. Um, they want three sixty five for them joints. These look just like um pine green Jordan ones. They want three eighty for those. You got your um these the SBs. These I know they gonna want a half of these. Well, four twenties actually not that bad for these. So it's the Atmos Atmos dunks. I would rather have a Jordan three. Like ooh, they got these. I, this look way too big. But I need these in my size. This look like a, this is a size 15, $500. I need these in the 12, bro. I don't want to pay over like 350 though. So somebody holler at me. Let me know what's happening with it. So a lot of dunks over there too. I'm not going to go through all the dunks. I just always curious every time I see a resale shop, how much they might want for pandas. And $280 for pandas. I can probably find these sitting at my mall right now for retail. So anybody pay that much man you just you ain't you ain't trying to put in no foot work and we're gonna get back here with the rest of the joints it um y'all comment below if y'all like any of this stuff like i've seen all of these multiple times what are these ovios uh, these look like ovio are they ovios uh, i think they is these ovios right am i tripping i don't see nothing to say ovio but it looked like this is what i remember ovio looking like ovio air jordan eights yeah, they go to the little aisle right there. See, I know I want tripping. OVO, and they put everything in plastic, so I mean, I get it, but can't see the shoe that good. OVO 8, shawty. I'm glad I, I'm mad I um, didn't go ahead and go after these, man. I'm kind of salted it. I mean, I love joint fires, and that green is hard. It was just the college pack. I couldn't keep up with it. They just kept dropping them, kept bringing them out. Uh, on to that joint four. I like that. Again, I got fives, elevens, mostly just fives, elevens, couple of twelves, couple of sixes right there. And then they got all the fours right here. Canvas fours. Then they right beside it, they got the Oreo fours. Um, lightnings, thunders, I mean thunders, lightnings, uh, red thunders, um, crafts. They even got a pair of military blues with the jump man on the back. But you know we getting these next year with the Nike Air on that ass. I wonder how much they want. These DS too. Look like it. Or these golf. Ooh, almost had me. These is golf for 400. So, you know, you don't want to wait for next next year. Get you some, I guess. You feel me? They got Zen Masters. Uh, they got those. I call them makeup foundations. Uh, uh, got some threes over here. Nothing to go crazy about on the threes. Not really. Those right there are hard. I got those at the house. I actually sold this. Shoe. Well, it's not even it. I thought this was the regular Shadow Bad Boy Joe One Low. I sold the regular one like that. And the resale is crazy for that now. 420, bro. You can get like a few months ago. I haven't looked at the resale, but a few months ago, you can get this one on gold for like retail, bro. Some in some sizes, it was under retail, sure. Um I'm I'm in there, twos. I wonder what they want for these. Cause these sat too and these was just real easy to get. 240. I'm tripping, boy. You can get these. I mean, I don't know if you can still get them for retail, but they got to be cheaper than that on some platforms. What's these? Patent leathers? Patent leathers for 50. And I got these at the crib too. I'm just curious how much they want. 240. Got these for retail. I got these for retail, like one, whatever, 150 or something like that. And um so we got obsidians uh, for 575. That's how it is when time go by. You know the resale will probably go up 575. Glad I still got my pair. I did sell these, but I don't regret it one bit. I sold this shoe right here. They want 525 for it. I sold this shoe for like 350 or something like that. That was around the time they dropped. You know what I'm saying? D right here. Turbo greens. 500 still got these um chilling at the house uh looking pretty decent i might say so anyway 
I ain't gonna bore y'all with all these resale prices. Oh, I do want to know how much they want for the mochas. I was just talking about these on the video a couple days ago. Six sixty for the mochas. I keep my Travis mochas. Um, seven hundred for this one. It's a different. It's a twelve. It's my size right here. And I'd be damned if I pay seven hundred when I already got Travis mochas at the house. Plus Palomino's coming out. So might get those for close to retail, man. So anyway. I'm not going to go through the clothes and stuff. I want to actually check out the Champs and Foot Locker and see what they got for retail in them. Uh, let's do it. If I want to take up skating, by the way, I don't ever say this right. How is it pronounced, y'all? I always say Zoomies, and people tell me it's wrong. If I want to take up skating, I'm going to have to rock some Jordan 1s because deep, boy, they heavy. Whoa. Whoa. I'm sure clean, Keith. Whoa, I'm sure clean, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all on foot. <laughs> Hold them. See how heavy they is. Imagine. What you doing there? Skate. This is a skate shop. So they keep stay on your feet. Can they be big or something? I guess cause that wideness will help you stay on the skateboard better. I think. How much is this? Uh, seven. It's actually one hundred and seventeen dollars. Oh. What you saying? One it? Right there. Oh, it's just okay. That's one seventeen. What well, these like the ultimate wide body stompers? I've never seen that. They all got wide body kits on them, shoulder. Like no games. So uh, yeah, no. Oh, Sambas are popular. You like Sambas? I like them a lot. Yeah, they're not bad. A hundred dollars. Like Sambas is crazy. Mm -hmm. But man, I am not messing with these, boy. Woof. This is a whole car. This is a two-seater. <laughs> I can go ride somewhere. They need some wheels. That's all I need. Anyway, I'm not going to go in there because skate shop, they be getting some fire dunks in skate shops, like the limited dunks, the collabs and stuff like that. They get a lot of that in skate shops. So people, I know you probably don't give a damn about this, but I started watching this last night. Mm -hmm. I got real sleepy like 30 minutes into it. Ahsoka. But it looked like it looked like it's gonna be a fire little Star Wars show, man. I mean a little action pack. She busting heads like already. She, you know, cutting heads off like five minutes into it. So anyway, here's Champs. Champ Sports. We're still trying to find all black shoes for Harley. We're gonna get every all black shoe that exists for her for um for school because that's all she can wear. And as I walk in, they already got purples. He's sitting everywhere, but what's going on, bro? Purple guys, Air Jordan 12 purple, um, Field purple, AKA Laker, Gary Payton, PE guys, cleansed in my humble opinion. This Hawks hat is fire, but I'm scared to get any hat with as big as my head is with this hair on it, bro. I'm terrified. So already this champ's got more stuff than the champs that Stonecrest got. Like my mall ain't got no retro. My mall ain't got these, my mall ain't got those. Well, they probably got those, I don't know. But, um, man, I thought it was some three for a minute. Hell no, shady. Them some go back on the shelves right there. Hey, you talking about? I like how they got the, all the Jordans in the middle of like a bunch of nothings. Uh, not just Air Jordan nothings, just nothings in general. Hey, you talking about? I ain't want to offend nobody though, because some of this stuff people might like. I'm just, I, it's just not for me. You feel me? Kiki is looking for another pair of black toe lows, and it don't even look like they got them in here. Hopefully, Foot Locker might have them in her size, hopefully. But I haven't been to the mall in a while. Last time I did a mall vlog was like a week and a half, two weeks ago, and they still had black toe lows sitting. So she might not have as much luck this time. We'll see. So this is finish line. One of the few finish lines in the city that was not um, uh, transitioned into a, a JD Sports. It's pretty much the same store, though, because finish line, JD Sports, just the same. It's just, they both still, they just merged. Like, I think JD Sports just bought finish line, so they let some of the finish lines keep their name. And off rip is Slim Pickens McLickenstein. But speaking of Slim Pickens, look, they, these right here, a lot of people been wearing these. These Cloud Tech shoes, they talking about they like super, super comfortable. Um, I don't know. They ugly as hell. They trash can water as far as aesthetically. But I might try them out just to um, just to wear to work one day. I just be needing that comfort at work. You feel me? And these uh, Air Max 95 is kind of hard, man. I ain't mad at them at all. And then they got the um, Air Max 95 inspired neon on the Air Max 97s. I showed these in some videos before, and they've been reduced to 155. I think it was cheaper than that on Nike at one point. So no Jordan 1 low black toes in here either. I think people done cleaned them out the malls at this point. I'm going to check my mall tomorrow just to make sure. Uh, I can't find Kiki a size 8. They still got gigantic ass sizes. They actually look like my size. with 13, I think. And the, uh, these right here. The um, elephant print guy. Got some UNC mid action going on. So, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. The, the the best shoes, of course, was in the resale shop. Because that's what they do. They get all the good shoes and then they uh, hit you over the head with prices. So, oh, here's a shoe that I didn't see today. Do they sell out? Because they got this big ass 13 on the um, display. Of course, they got Cardinals right there. 
And then you got these atmospheric grays that actually dropped today that I believe are still sitting on uh, Nike. But what y'all thinking about these right here, man? I like the materials. The, I like the sale, the vintage look. I like the, uh, I sh and I showed these on SneakerCon videos, so I'll be quick. I like the texture in the suede. I like the texture in the leather. Really clean shoe. I got gray and white Jordan 1 lows already. Plus they bringing out uh, the 85 cut Jordan 1 lows, but these are buttery. Like if I, I should have like tried to go for these on swoosh and get them for a little price off of them, man. But y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of the Air Jordan 1 low atmosphere gray guys. Y'all comment below and let me know if y'all feel this big ass size 13. So I, don't, I wonder if they got any other sizes or did they kind of sell pretty good? We'll see. I noticed this at a couple of stores and I'm just gonna mention it real quick. They got 350 uh, V2s sitting, and I've seen these at a couple more mall stores that were sitting too, so hype is pretty much out of here on those. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is Clark Rich here. Anyway, um, the movie was good. I didn't get a chance to do this outro because we went to the movies, me and the wife had dinner, went to the movies and stuff like that, but I am doing the outro now, and today is Saturday, uh, and with that being said, the Jordan 1 High Union LA's dropped this morning, I'm pretty sure they sold out on Sneakers app, it was a draw, so I'm pretty sure they sold out, but I was going to check resale because resale was plummeting. Yesterday, it was like my size you can get for like 300 and some bucks, man. And I know the other sizes were probably closer to retail. I think the shoe retailed at, what, 225 or something like that? I'm going to look on GOAT to see what... Um, I always go to GOAT. I mean, StockX, you know, they keep... It's, those are market places. They, they keep... They, they um, keep what the market is going at. And they are reselling in my size. They went down a little bit more. They was three... 27 or 328 or something like that yesterday in size 12. Today they are 307 in a size 12. They go all the way down to like 280 in like size 9 and 8 and a half and stuff like that. So this is a very attainable Jordan 1 uh, Union. My thing is, I like this shoe except for the weave. Like, but on feet, they look decent. I mean, they look decent on feet. I think that, I think if they didn't put that weave material on there, I mean, resale on everything is down right now, especially Jordan 1's, but I think if they didn't do that weave and left the shoe exactly like it is, without the weave material, I think the shoe, we're probably reselling like five, 600 bucks right now. That's what the original unions did when they first came out. If you can remember, they resell for like five, six hundred dollars when they first dropped. Now, these right here, I will say, if they put a different color blocking, because I've seen somebody do a custom with the original, uh, Jordan one union colors like the with the uh, storm blue and the red and that would have even if they would have did a different color blocking on this shoe with the weave it still would have looked better it's just y'all left it that bland neutral color and then you put that weave in the middle of it I get so tired of saying weave when I'm talking about these damn shoe but they put the weave on there shouted you know what I'm saying? The Bethany's Beauties, I guess Beauty Supply Weave mm, goes together hand in hand. But they put that on there and it messed the whole shoe up for me. Like, I can see myself even still getting the shoe and dripping it, but I don't even feel like paying $300 plus for that shoe. Because it's like, I know down the line it's going to be, trust me, I know down the line that shoe is going to be worth probably $800 or something like that. But I just don't see a reason to have these Union Jordan 1s, man. I mean, I don't like them enough. It, the, the weave takes away too much. Uh, for me on that shoe. So Barclays dropped yesterday. Was that yesterday? I think yesterday the Barclays. Yeah, that was Friday. The uh, OG Barclays, the black, purple, the uh, CB94 Barclays dropped. If y'all can remember, if y'all can remember your boy Mike Rich, I just show a clip of the video right here. Here you talking about Charles Barkley action, man. Just dope. So, um, yeah, very dope shoe in my pen. Glad I was able to cop these. Y'all comment below and tell me if y'all was waiting on this colorway as well or uh, what shoes you looking for this month. Uh, something like that, but uh, anyway, I know y'all want to see these on feet, so let me let y'all go on ahead and check these out on feet, man. Do it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Barkley action, man. 90s action, man. Let go. Yeah, bruh. Let's do it. Cleans. In my opinion, very clean shoe. Y'all get a good look at them. Love this colorway. <laughs> anyway, that was 2015. I always say check the tape. I had them in 2015. They sat around. Nobody cared about them. Let me take that back. They didn't sit like that. They didn't sit. I think they eventually sold out. So let me, I was going to lie. 
But most trainers like that and stuff like that, even back then, man, and it was a like kind of a quick strike, limited shoe back then, just like it is now. Um, they people didn't, but people didn't really care about the shoe. That was the golden years of YouTube, though, bro. I, I loved doing YouTube back then. It just seemed like it was less. Um, it was way less resale for sure, and it, that's not what controlled the market back then. Plus, it was a whole lot yet less people doing these videos, so it was just like a small amount of us. It was more contained to what we. It, it just wasn't saturated, put it that way. But anyway, besides that, I ain't talked about that at all, man. Because just like everything else, everything else gets saturated. Everything goes to waves, ups and down, hype moves mysteriously, shall I say? Anyway, that's it, better with the glasses on. Hype moves mysteriously. You feel me? But anyway, man, that's the vlog, man. The resale shop had a whole bunch of resale stuff. A lot of dope shoes. It was just prices. And price, actually, the resale prices. Now, some of that stuff actually went in that bad. But um, that's, it was a resale shop. It, anytime you go to those obscure malls, like I said, you'll see a resale shop just chilling in that guy. Yeah, I remember where the first location of Urban Necessities was in Vegas. That mall was one of the obscure dead ass malls the first urban necessities them moving to caesar palace was like the biggest step up i've ever seen anybody ever have in a um in a sneaker shop man so anyway with that being said i appreciate y'all for watching hit the thumbs up like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already hit that notification bell so you can become a part of rich nation stand all the way up to the moon on them head as you talking about and keep watching my video because that's what i'm here for gone Call up the plug, hit me a lick, early kids from Retro Rick, new air bubble like helium lift, so as to bless, thank God for the gift, yeah, it's a hit, premium fit, no barbecue, but this is it, hold up, rock, rock, just my hit, with richest kicks, I mean my rich, yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them, space jam going on the tune on them, sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them, new heat coming real soon on them, my rich fans, shout that's what I cop to give for, thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for, gone, all the way up to the moon on them, What's happening to everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike store just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Then we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then we gone straight up to the moon on them. Hey.